Okay, let's talk about cheap, uh, cheap rollover valves. Because, hey, why not? Um, okay, so here's my square body 80s truck. And uh, I threw an EEC tank in it from a 72 truck. Uh, using this is this is my return goes up goes back down goes into the sock um, my feed is in three ports here on the bottom that all tee into this little X thing they go through the floor to a pump oh it's located right about here okay and uh, that's gonna that lay down there we are uh, that all mess Filter, pre-filter, all that fun stuff. It's a low pressure system. But the point is, all those lines, I got like a gallon below the tank. So this thing can like run on its side. And, uh, alright, we're not here to talk about the feed. We're here to talk about the venting system. What I got going on here is PCV valves. Here. See, when you blow on them and they're upside down, they close. So, what I got going on is I got PCVs and they're flipped like that. And then it goes there and then there. And the important thing here is your PCV is on this side, of the, or the line is on this side of the tank. It's a mess, I know, it looks like a mess. Um, Lines on this side of the tank, and then it goes all the way to that side. And then actually, uh, all right, so it goes to this side and that side. They're not so much rollover valves as much as they are slosh valves. When the fuel sloshes, it's going to close that PCV and prevent it from going into my lines. All right. Um, but the main thing here is you need to run your lines. From that side see how that is see how I got the anti slosh going over here and then it goes all the way back over there okay and then what it does is it goes down this thing's out by the fence down through the floor all three lines Go through the floor and uh, to this, which is two more PCVs, but they're located like that. And what that does, they're still closed, okay? But as I'm driving, they do that and they vent as I'm driving. Um, and then these being upside down, they're naturally open. So they vent. Okay? Now, to prevent this thing just venting into the atmosphere, you know. Oh, and my system is closed. It's a sealed tank. Okay? Completely sealed. One of these nifty little thingies. Yeah, I didn't want to have the thing sticking out the side of the truck. Um, I didn't want to have it sticking out here and catch a tree branch. So I threw it in the back. Um, so, to prevent the thing venting, I have a PCV that's facing upright and a PCV that's facing upside down. Now what this does is it holds pressure being upright it holds pressure but only like I think I tested it it's like 3 psi at 3 psi it vents down and down in the other vents and uh, anyway it works great it, I've had it in my garage it doesn't vent at all but the main thing is is in a rollover all my vent lines are ran from one side of the tank to the other side of the tank. Even in the case where I had to go there 
like see that I had to go there and do a funky loop and then off the fill right here there's one that goes all the way over here and vents back all the way over there it's a bit complicated but it is what it is um, and that's why and I know it looks funky but in a roll in a side roll there's no way any of this can go pa they go past the t fuel tank that's the main thing you have to not only have them going through the floor okay not only through the floor but from one side of the tank to the other side of the tank that's important all right one side of the tank to the other side of the tank and then through the floor if you roll on your driver's door and I just had it going through the floor if I just had it going here through the floor and I rolled on my driver's door it's gonna go on the ground or, or actually it's gonna go right on my exhaust okay right on my exhaust it's gonna dump right on down there and guess what happens then um, so you have to go from this side of the tank to that side of the tank and in a fuel cell a, a small fuel cell that's not a lot of extra line to run it just there and then secure it at the end of the line you still have your flexibility, but you need to at the end of the line. These are flexible. Okay? There's flexibility here. Alright? And they're copper. If they crush, they crush, but they probably won't bend. Um, it's really a roll it on its side a couple times. Um, and then as far as protection goes, I built this nifty little thing, which encases the tank. That's really why I built this bed, to encase the tank for a side impact, uh, to protect that tank and a side impact. I got like three or four inches. <laughs> what can you do, really? Um, but yeah, in a roll, it's not going to uh, be an issue. <sighs> Starting to rain. Um, but yeah, this is just my junk truck, but it gives you the, gives you the point that you have to run your vent lines from one side of the tank to the other side of the tank and then go through the floor all right once you do that then you can go through the floor not simply under the tank okay you have to go through there and cheap mind you you want all stainless you want an all stainless this is just what I had laying around you want all stainless valves but they work grab grab a hose and grab an all stainless one and put some water through it go to your kitchen sink put some water through it they work they work great man um for anti-slosh valves they won't completely stop water okay you can put it in a I, I was gonna make a thingy with water but screw it you guys you guys get the point or you can test it on your own if you just put water in there you can hook it hook it up to your kitchen sink and run it it will it won't completely stop it it'll still put a couple drips but it'll considerably slow a fuel leak if that's what you have it'll considerably slow a fuel leak down to next to nothing and now uh, it's starting to rain of course um but yeah i'm saying that's my return it's a cluster it's a junk truck but it gives you the point to look at my lines and See that you have to go from one side to the other side to the other side. And uh, yeah, it's starting to rain. So yeah, you guys have fun. Stay safe.